Lazy Sunday is our guest today and just doing a fantastic job, really creating a great vibe. Uh, Sam, you guys, great. Thank you. Thank you. So um, we're talking with Sam. Sam, you're going to have to pronounce your last name for me, if you would. Filiatro. Oh, Wait a minute. Hold on. We're going to turn up, turn up your mic. There we Filiatro. are. Filiatro. Sam Filiatro. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try my best with that. Um, <clears throat> and how long has Lazy Sunday been together? And uh, tell us a little bit about the story of how you got, got together. Well, um, me and Anthony have known each other since, like, eighth grade. Uh, and we just kind of started playing music together. I played guitar, and Anthony was like, well, I'm going to play guitar, too. And we're going <laughs> to go in a basement and just play bad music and <laughs> one day it'll be good so then we picked up these guys uh jason we probably he's the second or third oldest member i guess to lazy sunday and that's jason on saxophone right, right? and uh we kind of just like picked him up on the way to a show in boone he was living in lexington at the time and we were just like you want to come with us we'll pick you up so <laughs> we just kind of like grabbed him off the side of the highway and had you heard him before uh he had been to our shows before and we'd seen him play we like kind of jammed with him once but uh. yeah <laughs> just kind of picked him up and left and then leo uh we lost our bass player a few months ago and same with our drummer and we picked up leo on bass and jason on drums too it's been working out great it has yeah. why, why the name lazy sunday where's that come from uh i don't know we used to play this song called lazy sunday it's like an snl skit and it just kind of like <laughs> embodied our uh I don't know, just what we were, I guess, as a band. And we we were uh, like this grungy band, like seven days till next week, and we had to get rid of that name. It was too long. <laughs> now, um, you you your music really creates a vibe. It's very kind of summery. It has some. I I I feel like I'm hearing some reggae in there. Yeah. Are you a big fan of that genre? Or? Yeah, we we definitely grew up on like Sublime and Bob Marley fans and Slightly Stupid. But Sublime was definitely a huge influence in the beginning, and it's just kind of like gotten a little more electric, I think, since then. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the album One Wet Sock? It seemed like a, a little bit of a departure from the first record, Living With It. Definitely. Um, it it's definitely uh, more produced, and, and tell us a little bit about who did you, did you work with anybody on that record? Uh, yeah, we worked uh, with this guy named uh, Jeff Carpenter. Mm -hmm. uh, he recorded a few Tim Kreckle records. It's like just this basement across from Bellarmine. We were like kind of nervous when we first went over there because we didn't know what to expect we were like oh my uh friend's dad has a uh a basement studio so we're like all right we'll go check it out <laughs> he'll record a song for free but we went over there and it was great and they're really awesome people yeah so, so. that's where you ended up doing one wet sock the yeah. latest record and then we did the first one at um what's that place called oh, tnt oh. studios and some at iu's uh, but yeah, it was just a lot. The second one was a lot more together, and we had just kind of been playing together longer and new members, and we're always shuffling out members. <laughs> <laughs> but you and, and Anthony remain yeah. the constants. Yeah, we'll always yeah. be here. We don't know about these guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you guys all the best. You are sounding great, especially today, and we thank you for doing live lunch for us uh, here at Resurface. Let's welcome them once again to WFPK's live lunch, Lazy Sunday. We're going to play the title track off of that album, One White Sock.